few things picked up from the swap meet at Bowling Green over the weekend. Uh, picked up another old Ford Motorsport air cleaner. It's just like the one that I sprayed with the uh, wrinkle finish paint. That's uh, probably the same thing I'll do with that one. It's got a little surface rust coming through. I picked it up for 10 bucks. Picked up all three of those fans. It was $45 for all three. I'm gonna use the 16 inch one there with those brackets. I'm gonna use that one on the wagon as my plan. And those two 12 inch ones where the 47 has a great big tall radiator. I think I can put both those on that radiator and the 47. I gave 45 for all three of those together. And this other stuff here is just stuff from the Holly Overstock thing. Uh, a fuel transfer tube for a 600 to top. It's got the little rubber cups on the end. It was two bucks. These uh, ball assortments and got the Chevrolet kick down and some vacuum caps and a stud and stuff. Those were two dollars a pack. I picked up three of those. And then carburetor studs, just some short ones. They were two dollars a pack. Picked up two of those. I had three eighths header bolts, four for a dollar. So picked up 16 of those. Don't know why I didn't buy more. It's one of those things after the fact you realize, hey, that was a, a better deal than I was thinking it was. But should have bought more, but I didn't. Uh, air cleaner nut. It's a bill, you know, aluminum one two bucks uh, and then they had a bunch of these new uh, hoses for tire pressure gauge they don't have the gauge but it's two bucks I have a gauge but the end on my, my old one was bad so they had a whole tote of those and they were two dollars each so picked all that stuff up so A lot of their swap meet stuff was all old nostalgia racing stuff and they had a lot of vintage mem memorabilia and stuff of that nature. Not as much just parts as, as some others have. Uh, they had a, you know, a lot of the different guys had a lot of old Krager wheels and Anson wheels and things of that nature. But it was a it was a really good show overall. The racing was good. It was just so hot. It was about 96 degrees and that 150 degree track temp. It was it was pretty hot. And uh, so, but it's that's a really good thing. I mean, they have a had a really good car show turnout, and I had a ton of race cars uh, I didn't get to record any of the uh, the nostalgia top fuel or any of that I only had I took two phones and uh, I had they they were both uh, full out of memory so I didn't get to record as much as I wanted to I took another camera also and evidently I had the setting on it wrong. Everything I recorded just didn't turn out right. When I try to upload upload it, it the footage just was no good. So that was all a waste of time. But that's what I picked up at the swap meet. And overall it was a, good, a really good time. Like I said, I drove that 33 Dodge down there, uh, there and back. The old car performed flawlessly. Uh, 
a little bit on that car. You know, it's a 33 Dodge four door. Uh, it has, it's got a Chevrolet motor. It's got a crate 350 with a 350 turbo. Uh, the, and it's got the stock style wheels. You know, it's all four plus two spares and it has uh, Coker Classic tires on it. But like I said, the car drove out great. Uh, the rear end in it's out of a a Dodge Dart. It's just like a seven and a quarter. I don't know what gear ratio it is and he didn't either, but I'm betting that it's probably in the 230, 240 gear range ratio range because even with the 350 turbo uh, I mean at 70 75 the car was just gliding no no strain whatsoever so I appreciate y'all watching thank you